Hi, I'm Timothy Priscilla, and today we're talking about absolute extreme on a closed interval for my Math 1325 class. Here's a problem for, uh, from my uh, online class. Find the absolute maximum and minimum, if either exists, for the polynomial function f of x equals 2x cubed minus 18x squared plus 30x plus 16 on the closed interval from negative 1 to 4. Polynomials are always continuous. They're smooth flowing curves. So, and we're given a closed interval, so there definitely has to be an absolute maximum and an absolute minimum. So, absolute extrema can occur at critical numbers or it can occur at the endpoints of the intervals. So we better find our critical numbers first. Let me write the problem down. So, we'll find f prime. That's a 6x squared minus 36x plus 30. And we want to know when is that derivative equal to 0? When is it undefined? Well, it's always defined, so we don't have to worry about that. Set the derivative equal to 0. I notice we have a common factor of 6. I'm going to multiply through by 1 sixth to get rid of it. That's the same thing just as dividing by 6. So realize you can do this to the equation. You can't do it up there in that line there. So 0 divided by 6 is 0. We have an x squared minus a 6x plus 5. And this is factorable. We can, hold on, let's see, there. We can use an x uh, minus 5 times an x minus 1. And that's going to give us two critical numbers. My two critical numbers will be 5 and 1. Those are my critical numbers. However, one of those is not in the specified interval. We're told we're only concerned about the interval from negative 1 to 4. 5 is not between negative 1 and 4 inclusive, so we discard 5. The only critical number we have to worry about is 1. Absolute extrema, you don't draw a number line and check. All you need to know is which, uh, which x value. The critical number or the endpoints of the interval give the, the biggest y value, which one gives the smallest y value. So we're going to plug in, oh, I guess I shouldn't use that phrase. So we're going to plug in negative 1 for x. We're going to plug in a positive 1 for x. And we're going to plug in 4. Absolute extrema can occur at the endpoints of intervals or at critical numbers. The only critical number we have to worry about is 1. The endpoints of the interval are negative 1 and 4. Plugging in negative 1, plugging in negative 1, we have a, a 2 times, oh, and we're plugging it into the original function. Whenever you're creating y values, uh, that's where you're plugging it in. So. negative 1 squared plus 30 times negative 1. That'll be a negative 2 minus 18. That's a negative 20 minus an additional 30 plus 16. I'm getting a negative 34. Ah. Well, who knows? Maybe that'll be the absolute minimum. Plugging in a positive 1, you're plugging it into the original function. That'll be a 2 minus 16, that's a, I mean 2 minus 18, that's a negative 16, plus 16 is 0, so I'm just getting a 30 there. One more, plugging in a 4. Um, 
minus 18 times 4 squared plus 30 times 4 plus 16 oh, ignore this little thing here that says page 1 let me mark that out oh there I'll just mark that out there and plugging in the 4 for x we're going to get a negative 24 so we definitely have an absolute maximum we definitely have an absolute minimum the biggest y coordinate the 30 this is my uh, absolute maximum I'll just label it max the smallest uh, y value is my absolute minimum, so I'll label that min for min. So coming up here, I'd fill in these blanks. The absolute maximum is f of 1, and its y value is 30. So f of 1 equals 30 is the absolute maximum. The absolute minimum occurs at negative 1 and the y value is negative 34 um, let me write that out if a negative 1 is negative 34 so once again we're just doing some uh, business calculus find an absolute extrema absolute maximum and absolute minimum values will occur on a closed interval for continuous functions either at critical numbers we found the critical number was one or at the endpoints of the interval negative one to four that's what I did here I plugged in those three numbers the biggest y coordinate is the absolute maximum the smallest y coordinate is the absolute minimum